Little Victory's back, and today I have a pre-submission video. I wanted to take advantage of the PSA $15 per card special they have going on right now. It's for the years 1989 and older. So I these cards came from a big collection I bought probably in 2016, 2017. Uh, a lot of the collection was vintage, and... If you know me, I, I like vintage, but it's not my passion. So a lot of it I just tucked away, and here and there I would uh, go through it and grade a few. Um, but I figured I might as well go through it one more time, and these are the cards I found. Um, a lot of stars, Hall of Famers, rookie cards of uh, of the older years, but you'll see the condition isn't great on a, on a lot of them. But here we go. Here is the 1981 Magic Johnson Super Action. This one looked like an 8 to me, just because of the off-center. Other than that, it was sharp. Uh, here's a Dantley Hall of Famer. This is a rookie card from 1977, tops. Uh, it looked great other than a ding. It looks like a 7 to me, so I think it'll grade a 7. Adrian Dantley. Here's a Moses Malone rookie. So if you heard me talk about tilt cuts, this is the ultimate tilt cut. Look at that. Look how thin it is and thick there. I don't know how PSA is going to grade this tilt cut. Um, but other than that, it would look like an 8 um, without the tilt cut. But with the tilt cut, I'm going to give it a 6. I'm going to say they give it a 6. Here's a Pistol Pete Maravich. That's a good-looking card. I love the look of these 1970s basketball cards. Uh, this one uh, was pretty pretty sharp. It wasn't too bad, you know, somewhere on the back. I'm a little off-center, obviously. But I'm going to put it at, like, a, uh, a 6 or 7 for the Pete Maravich. Here's a Jerry West, same year, 74, uh, for the Lakers. The logo man himself. Uh, this one looked like a uh, same, about a 6 or a 7. I think a 7 on that one. Here's an Oscar Robertson. I love the look of this card. And this year, 1972 tops. Um, as you can see right there, a lot of uh, corner wear. But there's no creases, which I liked about this. So I'm going to put this at a, a 4 or a 5. Somewhere around there. Hopefully a 5. Uh, Dan Easel, he's a Hall of Famer, and this is his rookie card. So, it, other than this little light kind of stain right here, it looked pretty good. I'm going to put it at a 6. We'll see. We'll see how accurate I am with vintage. Uh, here's a Rick Barry. So, this one had no creases, but you can see it's pretty beat up. Look at the corners right there. Um, and a little surface indent right here, but no creases. Rick Barry, and this is rookie card of a Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm going to put this at uh, like a four. We'll see. We'll see what that one gets. Maybe even a three. I'll put it at a three or four. This one's the most beat up card in the order, but it's Wilt Chamberlain, and it's the years I love. It's still 1971. Um, I mean, look at all the creases. <laughs> but, you know, I... Uh, I have trouble selling vintage raw because, you know, I don't know what to say condition, you know, when I'm selling them. It's just easier to sell when they're nice and slabbed with an assigned grade. It's just easier for me to sell on eBay. So I assume this will get a one <laughs> for the Will Chamberlain, but someone out there will want a one, hopefully. John Havlicek, same year, 71s. Uh, this one looked closer to a five to me, five or six. We'll see. Uh, now we got some really clean ones. So in this order, I might even get some gem 10s. And this is one of them I'm hopeful. Robert Brazil. He, uh, this is 1979, but look how clean it is. It looks like a 9 or a 10 to me. So sharp. These are pack fresh. And this Greg Pruitt. This one, if there is one card that's going to get a 10 in this order, it's this one. No printing defects. Sharp as can be. So centered right there. Jim Marshall. I know he's not a big name, but uh, at the end, that looked like a 10 to me. So we'll see. This name you guys recognize, Ahmad Rashad. Back in the day, I hope you guys watched Inside Stuff. Um, you know, great commentator for years and years. And he played football. So this one was clean as well. A little off-center, but it looks at least like a 9. There you go. 
Jeff Van Note, he's not a Hall of Famer, but I think he was like a six-time Pro Bowler. And this is his rookie from 1975 Tops. It looked like an eight to me. I'll put it at an eight. It's nice and sharp. Mean Joe Green, this is, I believe, his second year card out of 72 Tops. It looked pretty good. It had one D on it, if I remember correctly. I think it'll grade around a six or a seven. We're getting into the 72s. This is Dick Butkus. Of the Bears, this one also had a ding right there. See that? Other than that, it looked pretty good. No creases or anything. I'm going to put it at a six for the Buckus. Ted Hendricks, he's a Hall of Famer, and this is his rookie, and it looked good. It looked pretty good. It looked like a, a seven with a whole full eight because it's nicely centered. We'll see on that one. Here's a Joe Namath. Uh, this one I'm going to put at like a six. Uh, same year, 72s. On the name. So, uh, I guess along with the Wilt, <laughs> this Bradshaw's pretty beat up too. It's got some creases. I don't say I don't think it's as bad as the Wilt. Um, so, uh, let's let's put it at a 2. A PSA 2 on this one. It's Terry Bradshaw's rookie card from 71 Tops. Pretty off-centered. Oh, wow, look at that. Who knows? Who knows what that's going to get. Mean Joe Green, this is his rookie. So, same year as Terry Bradshaw, the 71s. Uh, this one had, I think, a crease, yeah, like right here. So it's going to get a three or a four, but, you know, it's his rookie. I want to get it slabbed. Same with O.J. Simpson. It's his rookie from 1970 tops. Um, pretty beat up. It's got some creases, too. Uh, I'm going to put it at, a, like, a two. This one I'm actually excited about. No creases and sharp and centered. Paul Warfield, he is a Hall of Famer. Um... And this has a 9 potential. I'm not even sure what a 9 sells for, but it looked like a 9 to me. It really did. Uh, some slight wear on the back, but at least an 8. I'm going to put it at I'm gonna put it at an 8, but a hopeful 9 there. Uh, Bobby Mitchell had two very nice copies. Very clean. They look like potential 9s. They really do. And this is from 1968, and he is a Hall of Famer. So I'm excited to see what these get. Oh, look at the color difference on that back compared to that. Um, I'm going to put them at, I'm going to put them at eights, maybe one nine. Yes, let's hope, let's hope. Here's a YA Tittle, he's a Hall of Famer. I think this is a 64, 1964 Philadelphia. Um, he looked like a potential eight to me. It's sharp, just off center. Uh, here's Stan Jones from 1956 Tops. These cards were a little bit larger. Um, but this is a Hall of Famer. It's a Hall of Fame rookie card. I like grading the Hall of Fame rookie cards because people are building on the PSA set registry, so they sell pretty well. I'm going to put this at a 6. Bill Walsh, uh, he's not the, uh, the famous Niners coach, Bill Walsh. I think this is a different Bill Walsh, but pretty good player, I think, in his own right. Maybe two or three Pro Bowls. Um, what is this? 19, maybe 1954 Bowman. Uh, I'm going to put this one. It looked good. I'm going to put it at a six, actually. All right. So now we're getting into more modern, modern vintage, is I guess what you would call it. Um, so this is 1987 Donruss. Fred McGriff. You may ask why I'm grading Fred McGriff, because he got inducted to the Hall of Fame this year. So this is from 1987 Donruss opening day version, and it is his rookie card. I know he has one 1986 rookie card, but I think that's uh, considered his XRC. So his main rookies are 87, I believe. And these look like 10s. Perfect 10s right here. Both of them. Great copies. Same with his tops traded McGriff. It looked like a 10. Nothing wrong with it. That's for sure a 10. Uh, here's an 87 Mantle. This is from Kmart. Um, I don't think there's too much value here, but it was so nice and so clean. I'd be disappointed in anything less than a 10 on that one. Uh, Vince Coleman. This is He had a few XRCs in 85, but this is his Leaf version, so a little more value to it. Uh, in 1986, his rookie. I'm going to put it at a 9 of the hopeful 10. has a chance at 10. Here's a Wade Boggs. Man, I wish, wish this wasn't off-centered. It's a 10 if it wasn't. Um, I don't know what they're going to give it. I think they'll give it an 8 just because it's pretty off-centered. I don't think it's within a 9 tolerance, but we'll see if it is, and it is a 9. 
Um, but I'm going to put it in an 8. Here's 1980 Nolan Ryan. Same with this card, man. It was so sharp other than being off-center. So I'm going to put it at a put it at an 8 on this one, too, for the Nolan Ryan. Um, this one I'm excited about. This one has a 10 potential for, for the uh, Dan Cuisenberry 1980 rookie card. Um, you know, I think the gem 10s go for around 200, so there's some value here. And the 9s got to be around 40 or 50 bucks, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited to see if that gets a 10. It'll look good. Uh, what is this, 1979? This is the Alan Trammell. I think this is his second year, but I think it's his first standalone card where it's only him in the image. And it looked good. Looked like an eight or nine. Uh, probably I'll put it at nine to be or at eight to be safe. Same with the aunt, seventy nine. I'm gonna put it at an eight to be safe, but it looked like a nine potential. Here's uh, you know, kind of like that trammel. I think this is Andre Dawson's first standalone card, so it's his second year. Um, it looked good, man. I'm gonna put this one at a nine. It looked really good. Same with the Jim Palmer. This one looked like a nine potential ten. If you guys see how sharp that is uh what is the 77 tops johnny bench it looked good it looked like an eight on the johnny bench uh gary carter this one looked like a is off center but it looked like an eight i might not send that one in i'm worried they're gonna bump it even lower to a seven we'll see we'll see about that one i'm gonna put it at an eight uh what is the 76 1976 hank aaron Centered up, nice. Just some corner wear. I'm gonna put it at a, uh, I'm gonna put it at a six on the Hank Aaron. Here's a Mike Schmidt. This one looked good. Um, I'm gonna put this one at an eight actually. Just a little off center, but it, this one is a lot sharper than the Hank Aaron. Tom Seaver, really good pitcher for the Mets. Uh, I'm gonna put this one at an eight too. It looked good. Uh, this one had a potential nine actually. Just a little edge wear on the bottom, but. It, you know, I'm excited to see what these, some of these grade. Here's the 75, not the mini, the full-size version of the Johnny Bench. Um, this was sharp other than one corner, if you can see it right there. I'm going to put it at a 6, hopeful 7, because you see how sharp, sharp it is, but doubt it with that corner. This one's pretty beat up. <laughs> the Georgia Brett rookie card from 75. Uh, I'm going to put this in at a, oof, a 2. I'm going to put it at a 2. Uh, I just wanted to grade it. I think it even has some some wax staining on the back. You know, I just want to put a slab on it. Uh, here's Carlton Fisk Mini. It's sharp. I'm going to put this one at a 7. Bob Gibson, 1973 Tops. I'm going to put this one at a 6. Hank Aaron, same year from 73. I'm going to put this one at a 6 as well. I love the design of this. It's so 70s. Um, this is 72, I believe. Willie Mays, a little off-centered. The corner wear. Uh, I'm going to put this one at a... I'm going to put it at like a 5. Uh, same with the Clemente. It's got some corner wear. I'm going to put this one at a 5 as well. But cool image. I'm throwing the ball up. I, I like this card a lot. Yeah, no creases on these, which is good. I'm going to still put it at a 5. The Carlton was cleaner, uh, sharp but off center so you know yeah look how off center that is i'm gonna put it at a six if they're feeling generous it'll be a seven uh here's nolan ryan i love this image with the cool ad in the background this is uh what is this 1971 tops very condition sensitive and i like how it's pretty centered it's just beat up i'm gonna put it at a three for the nolan ryan here's a 1907 carl yaz uh 1970 what am i gonna put this one at i'm gonna say a six it looked pretty good uh frank howard from 1960 rookie star i'm gonna put this one at a six as well it's sharp it has a chance at a seven i guess but it's really sharp these ones were pretty beat up but uh you know i don't think this one had a crease so i'm still put it at a four for the warren spawn 1958 tops all-star uh, the Hank Aaron, this was more beat up, and it had a few creases, I don't know, somewhere along here. Maybe it didn't, but it was just pretty ugly. The <laughs> corner wear, I'm going to put this one at a 3 for the Hank Aaron, maybe even a 2. I'm going to say 2 or 3 on the Hank Aaron. Don Newcomb, he, uh, what is this, very off-center but sharp. This is from 1958 as well. I'm going to put this one as a 5. 
57 Ernie Banks uh, off center. I don't know. No creases on this Banks, I don't think. So at least it has that going for it. I'm going to put it at a three on the Banks. Potential four, maybe. We'll end on Hoyt Wilhelm. He, uh, what is this, 1954 Bowman. No creases. Look like a uh, potential six to me. Worst case, five. Looks like a six, though. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll see how I do. I don't grade vintage a ton, so I'd love to see how accurate I am. So I'll be posting the results, you know, in about a month or so when the grades come back. All right, thanks for viewing.